Go to CheatEngine.org and click on the big green button. It should download in a few seconds. So once you open that file, you should see this little window pop up. Click next, then skip all. Wait for it to download, then finish. In the search engine of your choice, look up Baldur's Gate 3 Cheat Engine, and the first few links should have sites that provide the file you need. This was the first site that popped up for me, so that's what I'm using. Go ahead and download. Congratulations, you're already half the way there. Next, we're gonna launch the game, and then we're going to launch Cheat Engine. If you don't know where you downloaded Cheat Engine to, go to your downloads, click on Show All Downloads, Right click on your Baldur's Gate 3 Cheat Engine file and then click Show in Folder. Double click this icon and it should launch Cheat Engine. Finally, we're going to have Cheat Engine target the Baldur's Gate 3 process. So click on this little icon and search for Baldur's Gate 3. Click Open and then click on this little folder icon with the green arrow here. Remember that file we downloaded? Well, we're going to go to wherever we saved that and we're going to select it and click Open. Congratulations, your cheats are now working. This next part, I'm going to teach you how to use these because they can be just a tad bit confusing. I'm only going to explain the ones that aren't straightforward here. So before you do anything, make a save. That way, in case you don't like any of the cheats, you can always revert back to before you enable them. The first cheat that's complicated is no way. To enable this one, all you have to do is switch an item from one of your other characters to the character you don't want to have any weight, and that should activate it. You can also exceed the weight limit that your character currently has. The second cheat is learning any ability that you have a scroll for. You have to activate it, and then load a save where you're at. Right click on any scroll you want to learn, and there will be an option to learn it for 100 gold. As you can see, it will permanently add it to your ability hotbox. This is the duplicate item glitch. You have to check mark the last item moved, actually move an item in your inventory, double click on the value and change it to whatever you want. Now when you move the item or make a change to it like throwing it, it'll duplicate to the number that you want. This one's arguably the most confusing. Uh, it's changing ability stat points. So you want to activate the ability stat points and then save the game. Then select the attribute on the character that you want to change, type in the value you want it to be at, and then save the game again. When you load that save, your character should have that desired attribute. And in this case, it's an ultra buff shadow mark.